Stay tuned, and later on I'll show you a few ways to tell if it's a meteorite or just another rock. Well, good morning, everyone. Sunny Arizona. Ooh, I don't know about sunny Arizona, but it's snowing up here. Uh, I'm up in the Lost Basin area right now. And what I'm going to do is drop over into the Gold Basin area. And I want to look for some meteorites. Yeah, that's right. Meteorites. It's clear down and around way up over into there. I think it's about a 14-mile drive. Rocky and bumpy. and But I'll get over there. A lot of meteorites have been found. Uh, they're getting harder and harder to find. But maybe we'll get lucky and find us uh, a meteorite or two, but that's what I'm going to do today. So, hey, if you're one of my subscribers, sure appreciate you guys. If you're not, hope you consider subscribing to the channel. It's a pretty big area to cover down there. Those dang meteorites, they could be anywhere. Now, way off there in the distance, that's Lake Mead. Still a little bit low. It's coming up a little bit. What is a meteorite? In simplest terms, a meteorite is a rock that falls to Earth from space. Meteorites are rocks, but they are not like Earth rocks. Most are far older, and they provide some of the only samples we have of other worlds other planets, asteroids, and possibly comets in our solar system. Some meteorites even contain tiny particles that formed around other stars that existed before our sun. Because meteorites are ancient pieces of these celestial bodies, scientists rely on them for information about the history of our solar system. The study of meteorites has helped us understand the beginnings of our solar system, how planets and asteroids formed, and how impacts of large meteorites have altered Earth's history and life on our planet. Let me jump into the four-wheeler and zoom on over there, and hey, we'll see what we can find. But hey, thanks for coming along, guys. There's a shot of Lake Mead again. Now that might be towards the Nevada side. I bet you that water's pretty cold right now. Man, those meteorites could be any place. Where do I start? Gold Basin Meteorites. The first Gold Basin meteorite was found in an area of arroyos near the White Hills by Professor Jim Krieg while prospecting for gold with a metal detector. Since this initial find, it's estimated over 10,000 more specimens have been found. Large strewn fields such as this occur when an asteroid explodes in the Earth's atmosphere. The Gold Basin asteroid was probably around 40 to 60 inches in diameter and it hit the top of the atmosphere with a kinetic energy equivalent between 10 to 1,000 tons of TNT. L. chondrite specimens from the Gold Basin area indicate that all samples are part of the same shower, which should be reclassified as an L46 chondrite breccia. They are semi-magnetic. Most are found between 4 to 18 inches deep. Several samples of the Gold Basin meteorite have been dated, and are estimated to be 14.3 thousand years old. Well, I gotta drive in front of me, so I better get going. Meteorites have traditionally been divided into three broad categories. 
Stony meteorites are rocks, mainly composed of silicate minerals. Iron meteorites that are largely composed of metallic iron nickel and stony iron meteorites that contain large amounts of both metallic and rocky material. Today I'll be using the MyLab GPX 6000. All right, I got a target right here. That's a meteorite. Uh. And that's what these ones look like out here. Some meteorites are highly magnetic, but for some reason, these ones, stonies, they're just semi-magnetic. I got a signal, right? Man, it's very windy today. Right there. Might be a meteor. Might be a meteor. I'll have to hold on to that. That might be a meteor. It's just a smaller one, but I'll still take it. Got a signal right there. Sounds good right there. Stick that up. Just a hot rock. That's a hot rock. That's just a hot rock. It sounds kind of the same, but it's 
just a hot rock. No meteorite. I got another signal right here. Let's see what this is. All right, it's already out of the hole, so chances are it's gonna be another hot rock. It's just a hot rock. Well, still something there. Let me see if I can find this one. No, that's what that one was, just the hot rock. Okay, continue on. Sometimes you find these, it's a piece of lead. A piece of lead. No, there's another hot rock. There are dig holes all over the place here where other people, I guess, apparently have found some stuff. Meteorites, maybe. Some of them are pretty deep. Well, here's a whole bunch of different rocks. Some are meteors, some are magnetite, and some are probably hematite. Uh, so how do you tell the difference if it's a meteorite or just another rock? Well, one way you can tell is, of course, by the weight. But of course, a lot of these are gonna be heavier by weight compared to any other rock. And that is because even though they're hematite or magnetite, it's still iron and it's still heavy. But that's one way you're gonna tell is by weight compared to any other rock. Of course, the other way you can just tell is by comparison. You know, just by looking at them, you can tell that most of these are all just probably going to be magnetite just by looking at them. Once you start to learn the difference, you'll uh, pick it up really soon. But, uh, and then of course, well, like, let's look at this one right here. You see the difference? It's got more, this is like metal, iron. The other way you can tell, of course, is going to be with a magnet. So see, this is, doesn't really pick up with the magnet. Put that in the camera. It barely touches with the magnet. So I'm gonna say this is mostly all just hematite with a little bit of magnetite in it. This one here picks up more easier. This is just still just gonna be a big piece of magnetite. Same thing here, this is just magnetite. That's magnetite, that's magnetite. Let me get this more over on the camera here. Uh, again, this is not, this is magnetite. Uh, it's got a lot of hematite in it, but it's magnetite. Magnetite, magnetite. Magnetite. Oops, getting rid of some of those. Okay. Uh, I'm working my way down too. Okay, that's very, that's just light, that's kind of, uh, Getting rid of the, uh, the non. Okay, this black one here, see it barely sticks. Again, it's mostly hematite. Same with this one right here, it's just a hematite cube. And what we've got left here now is meteorites. Okay, so there's three different types of meteorites here. This one here has probably made a lot of iron in it. Uh, these ones here, these are called stony meteorites. You can kind of see a fusion crust on them. Fusion crust, is that how you say that? Fusion crust. So these would be gold basin meteorites. This meteorite here came out around the Vicksburg Salome area, quartzite out in that area. These little ones here, these ones came out from the uh, around the crater of, and up in northern Arizona. Another way you can tell the difference is you take a grinder or a file, file, file. 
It really doesn't change anything. It's still just the same. No matter which one of these you take. See, it doesn't change nothing. It's still just basically the same. You take like this one here. Now you can see, you can see the iron in it. The nickel or whatever you want to call that in there. Metal, it becomes very shiny. Uh, and these ones here. See how it becomes very shiny? That's because of the iron and stuff in there. Uh, some people may not want to take a, uh, a grinder or file to it because they think it might mess it up a little bit. But after you do that, if you just put it in some dirt, rub it back out and rub it in dirt or something, you can get rid of that little scratch mark. But those are a couple ways you can tell if they're meteorites or not. And then, of course, another way you can tell is you do just go get your toilet lid and you do a scratch on the back of the toilet. See how it leaves a brownish mark? Kind of a brownish to a red, almost a reddish tint on it. And let me see where's that other one that I had here. This one here. See, they're just kind of a brownish reddish tint. Then you take a, a non-meteorite. See the difference? It's all that's, that's black. See, black. 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 So that's one way you, you can tell the difference. Well, all the that's all the fun I guess I can have for today. Found a couple of them. Looks like it may uh, rain here a little bit, so I'm going to head on out of here. But uh, I'll, I'll show you a bunch of them other meteorites. I found seven of them last time I was up here. I'll show you them there. But anyways, they're all over out here. You just got to swing to find them, but they're all over. So anyways, I'm heading back to camp. Please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys coming along, sharing on these adventures. So, hey, till our paths cross again, you guys all be safe. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, everyone.